Okay, so what do I got going here? I'm uh, roasting some Royal Dansk Danish butter cookies. <laughs> Not really. What I've done is uh, started a pile of charcoal with my nice and reliable propane torch. Just put the charcoal on and then light them that way. That's a great way to start charcoal very quickly. You know, I'm uh, cooking up another batch of char cloth for flint and steel, and this is how I do it. Okay, so as you can see, I kind I kind of have this set up uh, like a Dutch oven in this tin. I've got coals on the bottom, a few coals on the top uh, to really get the inside of this tin cooking that is full of 100% cotton material. And uh, as you can see, you got the smoke coming off the charcoals, but out of the center hole, you've got little whiffs of white smoke that are starting to come out of the center hole. And that, when this really takes off, it'll just really start pluming out of that hole. And you'll know that the char cloth is finished cooking when it stops smoking. So this is just barely starting to take off and we'll just let it continue. Here I have a bunch of chalcedony that I've been uh, breaking into smaller pieces. And this is exceptional for creating sparks with a steel striker for flint and steel. Okay, here we are. As you can see, the charcoals have almost expended and depleted. Uh, top of the tin is nice and dark and um, there's no smoke. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off the charcoal and let it cool. Uh, the one thing that I will uh, mention is do not open the tin right away. Make sure that every last bit of um, <laughs> charring and the heat kind of can gradually go down. If you open it too soon, and there's still a lot of heat in there, um, what will happen is you'll actually um, see the char cloth just because of the oxygen and and the heat, it'll just ignite and it'll start glowing and just burn up. So it's important to let this cool slowly and gradually once you take it off the heat um, so that you don't have that issue. And then once it's all the way cool, you will be able to open up the tin and have um, your nice prepared char cloth. Okay. So this is all the way cooled. It's cold out here, about 30 degrees or so. And it's got a little bit of stuff on the inside, but as you can see, this is the char cloth. It's important too, like it has a look and, and also a feel. Um, if it isn't charred all the way, um, through it will not catch a spark so it has to have been charred um, sufficiently for it to catch a spark and so we'll go in and grab a piece and uh, make sure that this catches a spark the way that it should um, but it looks pretty good uh, but we'll test it to make sure okay here we are i've got my piece of chalcedony and a c-type striker let's open up the char cloth pull out a piece of this lovely, oh, this one's kind of already falling apart, which means it probably is gonna work pretty dang good. I'll give it a shot here. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see if we can get it in one, one, one strike catch. Yeah, check that out. And there we go. That's how you know you got a really good cook on your char cloth is when it will, without much effort at all, just catch a spark right off the get-go. So that's a good, good cook on that char cloth. I'm one happy bushcrafter.